Filmmaking has been around for decades, entertaining and wowing people with stories, news, and more. From the silent films of the 1800s and talking pictures of the late 1920s to colorized versions in the 1930s and animated versions that are popular now, everyone could find a film for their specific tastes and interests. Most people who think of films think of the big blockbuster Academy Award winning films Hollywood is famous for turning out, while others might think of foreign films or independent offerings. For those in Easton, there is also the 100 Second Film to consider. The 100 Second Film Festival was the brainchild of Easton Community Access Television Executive Director Jason Daniels. Fifteen years ago, after he had been involved in a one-minute film festival in Lowell, the idea for the 100 Second Film Festival came out of a project I was involved in in 2002. That was a one-minute video festival, and it happened up in Lowell, Massachusetts, between the Community Media Technology Center up there, where I was working, and the Revolving Museum, which was an arts-based museum up in Lowell. It was a very popular event. People had a great time. It was a really good event for the Community Media Center. And so I got the bug for short film from that. Available technology and the use of all kinds of social media means films are now submitted from all over the country and around the world, rather than just locally. Instead of the 50 films submitted for the first festival, 780 submissions were received for the 2019 festival, with 66 selected to be shown. So when I started, there was nowhere near the capacity of the internet to handle the files and the movement of the files around. So I would say 95% of the videos, I can only think of two videos from the first festival we did that were shared online. Everything else was on tape or on disc and we and it was a like an arduous process to to put them into a film festival compilation. And now 100% uh, of the films come online and because it's a platform that's really easy to use we can get films from all over the world. I had I had no idea what to expect. Um, I assumed it was going to be, um, I mean, I think you had even told me it was all kinds of submissions from all over the world, but I expected it to be more amateur. I expected the um, videos to be more amateur, and um, I realized that people are, I mean, people are so creative. I bet you some of them were even filmed on phones and whatnot, you know? Yeah. Um, but the technology that we have and people's ability, um, it really, it was, it was, um, for me, like I said, it was um, a realization of how much more you can actually do with the camera to tell a story. From comedy or horror to parody or making a statement, filmmakers let their creative juices flow as they accept the challenge of trying to pare down an idea that could easily be turned into a feature length film into a 100 second spot that will still make an impact on the audience. I had interviewed um, a, um, two people who were reco in recovery from opiate addiction and their stories were, I mean each of them I probably had over an hour of film for each interview um, and they had so much important information that they shared about their own story Mm -hmm. and about treatment and recovery, um, so much hope in their stories. And I wanted to get it out there. And so I had worked on it for, like you, you know, over a year probably. And I got it to, I think, maybe 12 minutes or so, 15 minutes. Um, but I figured if I could get it down to 100 seconds, like, that has more punch and if I, you know, I wanted people to like get the, the most salient part of those two interviews 
with the most impact in that 100 seconds. Because you have to get your point across and your, your ideas across in a limited amount of time, so it's kind of a little bit of a challenge. So that's it's a challenge in writing, it's a challenge in editing. Um, part of it is, is a filmmaker knowing what, who their audience is and, and how to reach them with your point, whether it be comedy or, or some social statement. In trying to keep the festival new and fresh for the audience each year, adding small changes are what appeal to those who turn out for the show. While simply watching the selected films draws a crowd, being able to talk to two of the filmmakers after the viewing is an added bonus for those who come out to Oak Sames Hall on November 16th for this year's festival. We've created an event that is uh, sort of going to the theater. It's a movie going experience. So. It's one night, it's about an 80 minute show with an intermission. The 100 Second Film Festival provides filmmakers with a creative outlet to showcase their talent and tell a story while the audience gets to experience a variety of productions that will generate a range of emotions in response to the diverse style and approach of the different filmmakers. You know, creating short films is its own uh, adventure as opposed to somebody that is trying to make a feature film. Um, there is a, another 100 second film festival that is from Iran that was started com completely independently of our festival and actually started a few years before. And in that country, when they discuss the film festival, they, they really look at that 100 seconds as its own art form and trying to be able to tell a story in that short time period as something that is a goal unto itself. And I do think that when you watch these films, you'll see that within the festival. You'll see people that are trying to explore what can be done in 100 seconds. So for the filmmakers, I think there's, there's something inherently exciting about working in the short format. And for the audience, I would say there's something exciting about watching short films. It follows the, a culture of short attention spans, for one thing, um, but it also provides a way between the way that we curate the films. It provides an opportunity to hear a multitude of voices and perspectives and styles and formats. So the audience really goes on a trip when they come out to the festival, which I think is, is fun. You know, there's, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll, you'll be challenged, you'll find some things that are absurd. You know, there's a lot, a lot of different, a lot of different experiences, uh, feelings you'll get to experience by coming out to the festival. And I think in the end, it's fun, you be inspired. And it's the kind of thing you might not be able to generally get out here in, you know, in the uh, suburbs.